GMOs turn food into poison. Consuming these foods can cause severe cases of cancer for all who eat it. When tested on rats, it caused them to develop tumors and other diseases. 70% of the female population died because of this and the rest were left with severe organ damage. Why do we allow these toxins in our foods without them being properly tested? I know what you're saying. You're saying, look, we've been genetically modifying crops for years and we're fine. What's the worst that can happen? All right, try this. Let's say we genetically modify this corn so that when insects eat it, they die. Okay, then the wind blows some of the pollen from that corn over here into these weeds. Well, they're really wildflowers, and they're butterflies that rely on these flowers, and they eat some of that pollen, and all the butterflies die. Okay, so there's a whole summer without very many butterflies. Now, these are the rare butterflies that fly at night. So the bats that would normally feed on those butterflies can't get enough to eat for a whole summer. So they don't have nearly as much success at making bat babies. So that next summer, there aren't nearly as many bats around to eat the mosquitoes. Ah, now these are the mosquitoes that carry a deadly disease. And they feed on your blood. And they give you that disease. And then we all die. See, that would be bad. Now I admit, I made this up. But are scenarios like this possible? Or is this just alarmist hype? Co-pilot had fish. What did the navigator have? He had fish. All right. Now we know what we're up against. Every passenger on this plane will have fish for dinner. We'll become violently ill in the next half hour. Just how serious is it, Doctor? Extremely serious. It starts with a slight fever, dryness of the throat. As the virus penetrates the red blood cells, the victim becomes dizzy. He begins to experience an itching, a rash. From there, the poison goes to work on the central nervous system, causing severe muscle spasms, followed by the inevitable drooling. At this point, the entire digestive system collapses, accompanied by uncontrollable flatulence, until finally the poor bastard is reduced to a quivering, wasted piece of jelly. 